We'll cruise over, see how the spot from the Seven Day Island Survival Challenge is lasting. That dock does not look so good, huh? Is that a white perch? Oh, are you guys seeing this? Oh yeah. Catching my PV underwater while I'm snorkeling. That's insane. It's so close, I can almost taste it. And now, part three. Check out that link in the description below for part one and two of the build. Ah, it's a mess. Gotta fix this thing up so we can get on some adventure. All right, let's see what the inside looks like. If you could look at this here though. Would you look at this? Would you look at this? Would you look at this? The paint's peeling. I don't know, I sanded it really, really good. I primed it, you can even see on the back side of the really expensive paint, the, the primer stuck to it, the gray primer. So uh, I don't know what happened there, but I think I'm gonna have to sand it all down and do a new coat. That's why I haven't put the decals on it like I did the car. And I also still wanna take off, I think, the trailer. Uh, if you saw in the first one, it was a trailer I didn't wanna get. I wanted a Harbor Freight trailer that sat a little lower. There's still a lot of stuff I'd like to do to this and it's been really solid and it sat around all winter and it stayed from getting musty and gross. It's still dry in here. So I would say, except for there's wax, candle wax, all over the blanket. Um, I just moved it and apparently there was a candle sitting up here and it was so hot in here that it actually spilled on the blanket and uh, now I gotta figure out how to get if anybody knows how to get candle wax out of blankets and stuff, look at that. It's all through this blanket, taking that out. So ever since the snow stopped falling, the kids have been sleeping in here every once in a while with the electric blanket and stuff, all clothed, cozy. Now that is covered in wax and it's all over the screens. Fortunately, it wasn't like a citronella candle. Look at all the wax. Oh, that's frustrating. All right, well, that brings us to our point. It's super hot in here. And hopping in this in the evenings with just the screens and some fans and, uh, and stuff, that's cool, that's cool, but this is a glamper. We wanna go a little better than that. We wanna do a little bit better than that. So let me introduce you to our new sponsor for today's video, the EcoFlow Wave, their air conditioning unit. This is a portable air conditioning unit, so it's gonna go in the glamper. Pretty lightweight, uh, easily moved with uh, one hand, like so. So we're gonna install this in the glamper, cause what would glamping be without AC? So check out that link in the description below for the EcoFlow Wave. This little bad boy packs a seriously cool punch on a hot day. We're gonna hook this thing up to our power packs, but you can also get an extended battery pack that goes on the bottom of it, allowing you an eight hour run time. And you can extend that runtime by hooking it up to EcoFlow's solar panels and recharge those batteries so you can stay cool. Use the app to control your 4000 BTUs the way you like to to keep your space just the temperature you want it to be. And if you're not doing the off-grid thing, you can always just plug it into the wall. Use the code FowlerWave and save $50 when you get your EcoFlow Wave. And let's get on with the video.
All right, we are here. We got about two hours before dark. Abby is with me. Hello! Abby is here. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna pull the kayaks down. We'll cruise over, see how the spot from the seven day island survival challenge is lasting. If the dock is still up, the chair is still suitable, stuff like that, catch a fish. We'll come back, make ourselves some fish tacos. You ready? Get, uh, get dressed and I'll get the kayaks unhooked. Okay. I guess one thing about this really clever zip tie that you can undo. I don't know if I can undo it one handed. Yeah, see, so you can push the button on here on the zip tie and you can undo it. I still have not, oops, I still haven't fixed this top latch button here. Doesn't work so good. So I need to buy some slightly expensive uh, like door latch things or something to pin this down or slide bolts or something that works on this. I hesitate to go really, really far with the build on this because it works really good and I got plenty of other things to do in my life and so why go completely insane? Why build like too many cabinets and things in here? Maybe some of the stuff not bouncing around when we go down the road would be nice, but it's, it's kind of a close to home glamper with the tires that are on. I'm not gonna drive. Next week we're going to Pennsylvania for the East Coast Slingshot Tournament. I'm just not gonna drive this thing down the highway for that many miles. It doesn't have that good of a trailer underneath of it. And it would suck up so much gas when I can just go and stay in a tent down there and be just fine and bring my little teeny cook plate and some other stuff. About twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. First person to get a first fish gets twenty bucks. Okay. Oh yeah. All That's right. a deal. It's a deal. All right. And whoever catches a bigger fish gets another twenty bucks. Okay. Yep. All right, and we got the uh, not mystery tackle box. I just <laughs> I have so many boxes. I'm keeping everything in there. I got some headbanger stuff uh, from Headbanger Lures. They sent me. They said pick out a bunch of stuff and we'll send it to you. So they did. So I brought uh, all of my bassy stuff that I picked out, and we're gonna have a little fish off. Abby and I. She talked me into uh, 20 bucks for first fish and uh, 20 bucks for biggest fish. A little worm and bobber action for her. Hi, Dad. Hi, right, hon. You got your bobber stopper, which is a little rubber thing you slide down your line. And it allows you to actually have like 20 feet of line. And you can sink it down pretty low because you Dad. can cast the bobber stopper. Dad, when are you going to get in the water? Uh, in two seconds here, I got to tie on a lure onto my rod. Two seconds, one, two. Little brat. <laughs> now the thing about these headbangers is they get these scooped little individual heads on them, whether you buy the hooks for it or different lures, they have these heads with a separate pivot point. So it goes woo 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 and your lure makes your lure move independently. I think it's gonna be pretty killer. Enough talking, more rigging. We got a competition to win against my daughter here. Ah, oh, we are in. You got the hang of it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> All right, let me see your pole. Push your button in and hold your button down, and when you go forward, let go of the button and point where you want it to go. Okay? Uh, sure. So put that in behind you and push off. All right, let's try over here by these docks. Okay. And see if there's anything in there. Wait, how do I cast again? Push the button in hard, and then let go. There you go. Should have put a heavier sinker on it, I guess. <gasps> set the hook. You're losing them, you gotta set the hook. You gotta give it a little tug. What? As soon as you feel that fish's weight on there, give it a little hook, hook set. Keep that tip down, keep that tip down. Down, down, down. There you go. If the race is on for first fish now, she's doing pretty good. Beautiful casting. That was a good cast. Freddie is the one. We're going 
gonna get snagged. Oh! You got a bite. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh! Real, oh, real, real. oh! 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 You gotta set that hook, honey. Fish on. There we go. Oh, you got a fish? Yep. Let's see if I land it. Oh, I lost it, I think. No, nope, maybe I still got it. It was just a big fight and then a little guy. Or he's a big guy and he's a... Oh, he's a good size one. Oh! Get, get in the boat. What? Hold on, I'm telling him to get in the boat. Oh my goodness. Yes! Holy cow! Look at that! We're having fish for dinner, honey! Yay! <laughs> I get to keep my $20. Yay! What the heck? I can't be a smallmouth bass. This is a. Is that a white perch? Like a monster white perch? Oh, are you guys seeing this? Look at the, look at this fish. Oh, I can barely even pull off the throat rip. Oh, there we go. Holy moly, that's a, the legs on, that is the biggest, that's a perch. Now let's go back and make some dinner. Can't believe I just nailed that monster. That's got to be like a state record or something. Look at this fish. That's a good fish. That's a huge fish. That's a really good fish. Look at the size of that thing. It's almost as big as the cooler. All right, power time. Dad. There we go. We got power. Ta-da. Yay. All right, the inside of the glamper. Now we just got to hook up. The Xbox so she can play games while I work on dinner. Yep, there you go. Thanks, Dad. You're welcome. Love you. All right, I'm going to turn the AC on. Okay. So you can be nice and cold. Nice. We'll see how it works. Okay. All right, we are all powered up. Let's see. Cool thing is that you can look this up. I can connect it to my app on my phone where all these other ones connect too. So if I could be inside and find that whatever the outside temperature is, doesn't matter and I could just, I could read what it says on there and adjust it from my app on my phone. I'm not gonna mess with that right now. because I'm just cooling it down a minute just so it cools off inside so it's not so hot. But I gotta put some bug dope on. Got some of my Fowler bug dope that we made with Copper Johns and I'm loving this stuff. I hate the smell of traditional DEET heavy stuff bug dope. This stuff works really good. It doesn't quite last as long as the DEET stuff, but you don't have to feel disgusting and, and, and greasy and gross after you feel, I don't know, it feels good. It smells good. It doesn't leave you feeling gnarly at the end of the day. Right over the fish scale, I really want to know how much this thing weighs and how long it is. 1.84, almost two pounds. That's huge. And it is 15 and a half inches. I mean, that's, that's a record for me for a white perch. And somebody's gonna say, oh, that's a small mouth bass. But look at the, look at the hump by the nose. The neck, the head there, and uh, the size of the scales, a lateral line here, and especially how sharp and how many few of those there are. How's the AC? I don't like it. You don't like it? No. Why not? It's too cold. Oh my goodness, it is cold in here. I don't like <laughs> it. It's so cold in here, it's so nice. All right, it's cooled off enough, it's not hot from the day anymore. So, I'll turn it off for now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wow. So, I'm turning it off because of Abby. 
and this thing said nine hours with the regular battery pack and the extension I could have had it on all night long on super high of course that would have meant it was like 32 degrees in there after a little bit I don't know what it would have been if I had turned it down but I'll probably before bed put it on like a two hour delay on uh, middle settings because I love to be cold when I fall asleep I think that's pretty cool the delay you can set it on like a one two three and four hour delay uh oh about to get in trouble the little chef is hungry so I better get cooking for her oh, Dad, I need help. oh she needs help She's stuck in her game what's up oh when I kept pressing on the Minecraft thing it wouldn't load but it finally started loading oh yeah yeah look at all the skeeters and stuff there's so many of them and like watch this put my arm out now that the bug dope's on Nothing. Mosquitoes, black flies. They got better things to do. Huh? I said that stuff's working pretty good. What a chunker. <laughs> I brought the little knife. I was like, ah, I'll bring the little knife for filleting because I'll catch little fish in this lake. And I catch this guy. I could have brought the big fillet knife. Wow. Big old egg sack. I'll save that carcass for lobster bait. I had to fillet this guy. The knife is too small. There we go. Whew. Whoa. Meaty. Meaty, meaty. I was going to do fish tacos, but. Do it! Huh? What about just fish and chips? Okay. I'm, I got permission from the chef, so we're switching gears. I got the chef, you're the one cooking. <laughs> got permission from the little chef, so we're just gonna do fish and chips. Keep it simple today. Taters. Air fryer. Get all your stuff in there. Plug her in. All right, we're going for the good stuff tonight. We got the catch and cook. Jay Seaman sent me some of this. This is their beer batter that they're selling. This is pretty fun once you get used to it. Huh? Are you playing Ghost Simulator? No. We're moving the same. Minecraft Dungeons! Minecraft Dungeons. Can you jump on it and ride it? No, I can't jump. Oh, what are those? Skeletons. Skeletons? Yeah, skeletons. Kill them. Oh, no, that's a creeper. Creeper, kill the creepers. Yeah, they explode. Nice. Really splurging tonight. I'm actually going to use a fork to whisk this up. And I just picked up a little bit of beer that I'm just using for this. There we go. Going for slightly wet, fairly good wet mix. Ooh Throw that in our dry mix of the beer batter. Pickles. Tartar sauce. Mayonnaise and mosquitoes, apparently. Let's see, get that all mixed up. We'll uh, do some pickle bites here. We'll fry those up. Those will taste good. Mm-hmm. Mm. 
-hmm. Wet batter. Dip it. Oh, this is gonna be good. Fingertips on it. Get that off of there. Oh yeah. I know that this is gonna be good. Just try not to scratch her all up. My favorite pan. There we go. So we didn't get out here as early as I was hoping to, but we do have plenty of uh, time. So tomorrow morning we're gonna have some more adventure. See if give Abby that chance, second chance at that uh, winning in the twenty bucks. All right, get it onto the plate. All right, there's two. Let's get those pickles in there. Oh, I think I might have just fried a skeeter. A little extra protein never hurt nobody. Let's make sure we did a good job and it's done. Oh, it's white and flaky in the center. Nailed it. Oh my goodness, that tastes so good. Mmm. Let's see if we can flip these bad boys. Let's see our fries. Mmm. You want me ketchup? We got some cherry tomatoes. Not from the catch and cook garden yet, because that's not that far along. Oh my goodness, look at all the bugs in the. Shouldn't have put it up there by the light. All right, tartar sauce. Look at that. Tartar sauce on the fish I caught, fries, some little taters, and that beautiful deer battered fish. Oh. Oh, just lost a tater. All right, a couple of fried pickles. Mom, get in here! I'm coming, I'm coming! Dad of the year? I think so, come on. That's awesome. Oh, better turn the fry later off. And we burn alive inside of there. That seems dangerous. All right, now we're going in. Dad, I found our show. What'd you find? River dance. River dance? Ladies and gentlemen, river dance. Lord, thank you for this food. Bless this food to our body. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. <laughs> There's wild babies. Uh oh. My little pony. No. New Stranger Things. No. Walking Dead. I don't want to see Walking Dead. I don't want to see Walking Dead either. I'm just teasing you. Let's watch Captain Nova. No. She's a she's a girl who gets sent back in time to save the Earth. No. Happy Gilmore. Yes. All right. Oh my God! Fish, super white and flaky, and mmm. How do you like the fries? Mm. They're pretty good. Mm -hmm. Be better. If Seven had, out of ten. Seven out of ten. Mm -hmm. Be better if it had ketchup. Yeah, definitely. But the but the fish. That's that's a perfect ten out of ten. Oh really? Mm hmm. Oh, we'll have to use this batter more often then. Mm-hmm. Okay. You want my tomatoes? Yes. I'll trade you for a fry. Hey! <laughs> so I give you a pickle. I don't want the pickle! You can keep the pickle. That looks good. Can I have some? I'm just kidding. You can have it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that! Yeah. Right?
got your breakfast. Mmm, yummy eggs and toast. <laughs> Aw, that's cute. <laughs> All right, it is a beautiful day in the neighborhood. We slept in till like eight o'clock. It was so dark and so cool and so cozy in there. I, I just, I couldn't, uh, couldn't wake up. I didn't think I needed to actually. I thought uh, it would just happen and uh, at like 6.30. Abby usually wakes up at 6.30 every single day. Well, we got some adventure to have. We're gonna get out there on the lake. We didn't get over to where I did the seven day island survival challenge yesterday. We're gonna head over there and uh, see how things are handling and uh, see if we can't catch a fish along the way and maybe do a little bit of snorkeling and exploring this lake because it is fairly clear in certain spots. So let's see what we can get up to. If we can't get Abby on a fish because she didn't catch one yesterday. And you know me, I'd love to get another one. So a little update on the power and how we're using these power packs. It says it has nine hours left at what we're using right now, which is Abby watching some TV while uh, nothing else is running. But it was at 48% when I woke up this morning, and then running this to make the coffee sucked the juice right out of it. Even the AC doesn't use as much as this hot plate does. So I think in the end, I need to either find a more efficient electric one, like an induction one. I don't know if that would use as much, or propane because it would use the smallest amount of propane to run this and if I want to use this thing sometimes during the winter too I can make a small propane heater of some sort inside even this guy and the microwave making french fries didn't suck down that much power and I said yesterday this thing's so simple I don't want to invest a lot of more time in it and it works exactly as it is but the more I look at it I kind of do want a little bit of a sink maybe some water tank up forward with a propane and that one burner and uh, kind of have a cutting board on top maybe a couple little container things to hold like my oil and salt and pepper up there so they're bungeed in place and the only other thing is the hatch in this curved bit here and the one inside I haven't really done anything but seal it and it stopped the mold which started when I took it out the first time not sealing it just trying to get out there and get it done so if I filled these and gave it a good paint job then it would last a lot longer and the inside i would like to quilt and insulate it a little bit so it looked a little just a little bit more posh what do you got i don't know i can't see oh no <laughs> you caught a fish while it was over the tree branch yeah i didn't uh, expect that would happen and now i don't know what to do <laughs> you caught your first fish we didn't even start yet i know does that mean i owe you 20 bucks yes oh really Looks like a smallmouth. Well, you we haven't landed it yet. It only counts if you touch it. Mm. Hey, you got it. Now unhook it. I don't... <laughs> <laughs> you did it. Look at that. You caught a fish. Ugh. Now you gotta break its neck. No. <laughs> Alright, we'll put that in the cooler and we can make fish tacos later. Yeah. Maybe we'll save him and make fish tacos for Sparrow, huh? Good job, honey. Alright, I'll meet you out there. Uh-oh, that dock does not look so good, huh? Mm -mm. I think she's, uh, wow, really needs some repairs. Oh, yeah. Let's go check out the rest of the stuff I built. There's the bench. Yep. Oh. Oh. All right, uh, what do you think? Great. Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. Comfy. Is it comfy? So the bench still works. Yeah, pretty. It's still stable. Wow, it is actually. I thought maybe there'd be something. The beaver climb up here and fresh wood and all split. He chewed some of this up, but this is really stable. Yeah, that's a good build, huh? I know. I wow, I'm impressed. And then the table, still really stable, right? Yeah. And that held the cooler, so you pop the cooler into there, and you could use that for a cutting surface. Everything, those of you that have seen the series know what I'm talking about. 
What do you think? Yep. Dad did a good job? Mm-hmm. All right. Well, it's good to see it's all still here. And I hung my hammock over there, hon. Between those, I have my hammock between those two trees with a little tarp. And, uh, yeah, and there's a little island where I stayed on for seven days. Yes. Isn't that nifty? Mm -hmm. All right, should we go explore some more? I'll have mm -hmm. to come back and fix the dock. It looks like the sticks and stuff are all still there, but what happened is... The beaver chewed it. It looks like the main log's still there. The lashing on that side is broke from beaver chewing and the other stick on that side is broke. Yeah. If I repair those with something dry, maybe the beaver won't come back and chew it again because it's already old and he doesn't care. And then it could stay forever. Good to go. And she's away. Oh, good cast. That's pretty shallow over there. I, oh, fish on, fish on! Oh, I don't know why I bother. I'm gonna tell you how to fish. What'd you catch? Um, I think that, oh, it's a perch! It's a pickerel, isn't it? Ow. Ow. Right, hold still, I'm coming to you. Coming to you, I'll get it. All right, good job, honey. Welcome. These are slimy little guys, these guys. Yeah, I caught them over there. Yeah, they're, they tend to be in the shallow, so that was, you know, pretty good. Oh, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. All right, there you go. Okay. Thanks, Dad. Yeah, good job, honey. You're welcome. Ow, That's two ow. fish for you and none for dad. <laughs> but now I want to catch more. You do? Good. Yeah. Good. Fun. It's it is. fun if you get, if you crack it so Jack can Hey, check it. out this island ahead of us here. I know. That's what I want to do. How cool would that island be right up here? For if, a survival challenge. Maybe not for a survival challenge, but what if we bought it, we're able to buy it and put a tree house on it, like this tiny, tiny island. Oh, that would be cool. Wouldn't that be neat? So it looks like, it looks like there is actually some land on this island. I know. Like just a little bit. I wasn't sure if it was all brush and swamp water, but it has to be some land. Otherwise that tree, that when tree wouldn't grown. be growing. Yeah, it would just be dead because of the, the water. It does look a little yellowy. I wonder who owns that little world's tiniest island, huh? Yeah. Maybe you could own it. We're right next to each other. Yee. Close your eyes. Little guy. One fish. You caught a fish? Yep. Nice. All right, little guy. Woo. Back to the wild with you. Oh, I got him! You got him? Yeah! Oh! Oh, sweet! Sweet, sweet, sweet! We dead! Hurry! Alright, coming, coming. Ah! Oh my gosh! Sweet! That's my biggest fish yet! I'm gonna put him over on this side. Look at him! My third fish. Nice. Whoop. Oh. Aww. Well, that's all right. Now you can give me a new worm. I'll put the new worm on it. Oh, Putting on the Mondo worm. Oh. Fish on. Oh, fish on. Fish on. Sweet. Did you lose him? Yeah, you lost him. You got to set no. that hook. No, I didn't. No? Oh, Look my goodness. The smallest little guy ever. Come on. I want him. My third. No, my fourth fish. All right. I can't believe I just caught that super small fish. That thing was so small. Oh, I got a nice one. I got a nice one. Yes, yes. There we go. I got biggest. Ha <laughs> ha! Nice! Look at that one. You get to one. keep $20. I, I get to keep 20 So you... I got biggest. <laughs> there we go. A nice pound and a quarter. 
let's get out of here. Let's go swimming. Race ya. What a beautiful place, huh? Oh yeah. Fish on. Ha <laughs> ha. Ooh. I've never caught anything trolling us off plastic, but that that head on that thing. Giving it the wiggle wiggle. I'd like to see you wiggle wiggle for sure. Oh. Oh, okay, here we go. Ha <laughs> ha! Ooh! That's another big one. Woo! That's a good size one. Ah, that's a nice one. Two. I had a feeling. Not a bad, not a bad haul. Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha! Beautiful fish. All right, buddy. Back to the sea. Trailing this thing like an American eel with the headbanger, giving it that little wiggle wiggle and that jiggle jiggle. My money don't jiggle jiggle, it folds. Man, nice two pounder on the way in. What a way to end the fishing part. I better get in there and get my swimsuit on. Little Abby's waiting. I'm heading down to the dock to go swimming. And I'm gonna bring you guys with me. Oh man, I really don't want to go in there. Oh, I'm scared. Uh. You didn't think it was gonna work? Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, I can't believe I just lost that. That was so big. Ah! Oh. That would have been my PV, catching my PV underwater while I'm snorkeling. That's insane. <laughs> Woo. That was amazing. I think I, that was almost the biggest, that, that might have been my personal best PB. I can't believe it. I lost it right over there. Did you hear me yelling? Oh yeah. You, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> that was exciting. We'll have to revisit that again. But right now we gotta pack it up and go get Sparrow. And then uh, we'll take some of that fish that you caught and my caught. And we'll make some fish tacos for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. Go ahead, 
Taste it. Taste the fruits of your labor. Oh, How's yeah. the fish? All on its own. Not the kayaking part. It's it's it's, that's, it's it's a thumbs up. It's a thumbs up. It's a, it's a thumbs up. But you're still eating it. You're still eating it. You like it. No, I'm not wasting food here. Oh, you weirdo.